What is good guys? Today, the first thing on the agenda is we're stopping at Tomei Powered here in Japan. Uh, we've got a part to pick up that uh, came from Nissan's like warehouse. It's a Nissan OEM part. You'll find out about what that part is and who it's for and where it's going. Uh, uh, probably in tomorrow's vlog. I don't know, but uh, exciting things are about to happen. Anyways, let's get to Tomei, check it out, and then we'll uh, go check out Up Garage as usual because they're next door to each other, right? So just walking to Tomei and I came across this place called Knight International. And it obviously looks like they deal with Ferraris and stuff, but what really caught me was this old school F1 car and how cool it looks because it's all kind of like disassembled, right? Isn't that sick? Ford engine, F1 logo on there, bunch of ITBs and stuff. Very, very cool. And I get, I'm assuming that's like the old ECU and stuff there. Gosh, I love seeing things like that. That's super cool. Who would have thought? And then there's a bunch of new Ferraris and things like that in the back there. Also some Mercs, but uh, they're closed, so we're not going in there. But uh, yeah, Tomei's only like another two minute walk this way. There's another car dealer here called uh, O-Rush Tomei Yokohama. And look what they have in the display window. You know, I've never been a Porsche guy, but there's something about this GT3 RS that actually uh, does things to me. I think it's mainly because if you zoom in there, it might be hard to see. But see the cage kit in there? Damn, that's sexy. Yeah. That's a price tag though. Check out, check out that price tag if you can see that. That is one hella expensive car. Damn. Okay. Not going to be owning one of those for a very, 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 very long time. Oh, light's green. Let's cross. This is what I love about living in Yokohama. You can just be at an intersection here. There's a cool little mini there, J JDM version mini. There's a cool old crown over there, park there. And then over there, there's a 34. Just so many cool cars you just see driving around everywhere. So here we are at Tomei. They've got one of their nice staff members, uh, 32 GTRs out the front. This thing's always nice to look at actually. They do a lot of uh, modifications to this and use it in like their, um, I guess kind of like uh, their events and shows and trade shows and stuff like that. Um, there's also a lot of pictures of this car um, used in their catalogs and stuff. So it's kind of cool to see this thing in the flesh. It's a really clean example of a good 32 GTR, that's for sure. Anyways, I'm gonna head upstairs, go get that part and we'll pick it up from there. All right, we all just finished up at Tomei and check out this huge box that I'm now carrying. Uh, I didn't know it was going to be so big, so this will be fun on the train on the way home. Um, but anyways, let's head to Up Garage now. As you can see, that's kind of like the start of their buildings here. This is, uh, I said this before in the videos, I'm pretty sure, but uh, these, these kind of like buildings here are used as like their workshop for like their sponsored cars. So like uh, Toguchi-san's uh, drift car and a couple of their other guys that are in like grassroots drifting here keep all their cars here and they get to work on them here and stuff after hours. So it's a pretty cool little like workshop garage where they work on all their cars and stuff. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna walk through to the main building, which involves I can just cut through here, through the wheel kind of building. This used to be the main actual up garage building before they built the new one behind it. And then now they just kind of turned it all into one big up garage kind of headquarters, right? So we'll walk through the wheels section here. They've definitely got some interesting wheels in stock at the moment. Ooh, those look nice. Hmm, nothing like a good pair of work emotions, am I right? SDI factory wheels. Ooh, 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 ooh. What size are these? Oh, they're 17s. Lame. I do. I don't mind me some wet sports, eh? They look okay. Yo. Okay, so they want like a like like 900 bucks for these. 7J. Yeah, they're actually kind of decent size for those those wheels. And yeah, kind of usual stuff. I don't feel like like walking all the way up in there. Yo, Yokohama RC2s. I didn't see those. Cool. All right. I don't feel like walking up there having a look or up there in the other showroom and having a look. I'm trying not to knock over everything too with my uh, new package box. Let's see what cars are in the car park right now there. Just had a quick look. There doesn't seem to be anything really undercover. There's uh, the VQ Skyline here. And whoa, 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 mate, what is going on? That sucks. <laughs> Poor girlfriend in the passenger seat and that happens. There's a JZX 110 there, that's kind of cool. Anyways, we'll go inside and see what else is here. And this section's getting pretty uh, pretty cleared out. They used to have a lot more engines here. Definitely got a lot of transmissions, that's for sure. You get, like what? One, two, three S15 transmissions, all six speeds for about $700. 
And this one here looks like S14 five speed for $200. A front wheel drive Honda EG6 transmission. Uh, 32 GDR transmission, they're cheap as hell, 300 bucks. No, I mean like pretty much people use those as boat anchors in, boat, boat anchors in Australia because they're just terrible. Um, didn't we see this at the other up garage that I found? Or is it, what? A Suzuki JA71 um, transmission slash transfer case thing. There you go. Oh, that's to make it go four wheel drive and stuff. That makes sense. That's why I was like, what the hell is that? But uh, yeah, because it didn't look like a gearbox, but it had a shifter on it. I think this is a different one because the one I found at that other shop was definitely a lot darker and blacker than that. But then there's another one there. Okay, what the hell? Why has Up Garage got all this Suzuki Jimny stuff all of a sudden? There's like three of these I've seen in stores now. There you go, JA12, Suzuki. There you go. Mm. Maybe they're getting into the four wheel drive stuff more and more. Um, let's see what else we can find, eh? So I swear Up Garage is just getting a collection of the world's smallest turbos in the world because uh, there's this little guy, like that's my hand. Then there's this little guy, my hand again. Um, then there's this little guy. And then there's that little guy. And then there's that little guy. Oh my gosh, why, why are they collecting small turbos? That's kind of small too. Jeez, guys, calm down. We want bigger turbos before smaller ones, right? It's kind of funny. And this thing's definitely being... This box is definitely uh, being a bit of a pain to carry around already. Oh well. So this is something pretty cool. You can get a brand new Team Up Garage seat here in Japan. Up Garage sell their own branded seats now. So these would be really good for like, uh, you know, throwing in a 180SX or stuff that you've got at Ebisu and you want a cheap seat. $400 roughly. It's pretty decent. Definitely would recommend getting this for something uh, like that you don't really care too much about and you're looking for a good budget seat, that's for sure. So this is pretty cool. They've got some C110 Skyline uh, rear tail lights here. These are pretty hard to find. They're actually fairly priced, honestly. Uh, they're, they're wanting like $600 for them or like $550, uh, sorry, USD. Pretty decent and they look like they're in really good condition too. Now that's really hard to find a good pair of those. Let's see if they've got any other cool tails for 33 because I do need to change my tail lights. Does anyone need a uh, R34 door handle in Bayside Blue? They're selling one here at Up Garage. They only want like 12 bucks for it. Pretty decent. Hmm. Not really finding uh, anything that I really need. Well, I mean, that's the thing as well. I don't really have money to spend at the moment on anything car related. I'm trying to save up for the S15 and uh, activities that are happening from the next vlog. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't getting too teased. So I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, there's a set of extractors here, which are four two to ones. And then the spoon brand too. So like your DC2, you know, B18C motor. Nice little upgrade, already uh, heat wrapped already for you too. They want about like 500 bucks for them, but uh, not too bad. Nice little upgrade for anyone who's got that kind of car. Looks like uh, it's got a bit of scrapage happening there, but it's not too bad. There's no holes or anything like that. Definitely really cool. All right, so I'm gonna head back to the train station now. Wasn't really uh, anything kind of too great or crazy there. And that's the thing, like Up Garage can be hit and miss sometimes. I've explained this in previous vlogs, but uh, normally all the best stuff is there at the end of the month around the 25th, which is like the international payday for like everyone in Japan. They get paid monthly on the 25th. So normally everyone comes in after payday and buys everything. So if you want to get the good stuff, you normally got to go at like the end of the month around the 23rd, 24th kind of thing. They're the good times to visit Up Garage because that's when uh, there's a lot of cool stuff there. So I just got home and I'm actually going to be doing a live stream soon. I always stream like every second day on the Semit Live channel, so links in the description for that. I do still do one live stream though on this main channel once a month, which is like an AMA format. Uh, the other channel is mainly for me like when I'm gaming and want to play games with you guys or whatever else is going on. Uh, we do bunch of random stuff over there so if you're interested in that definitely check it out um, but yeah today was super chill picked up a part for a friend uh, which you guys will find out in two videos time not the next video because anyways you'll understand when it happens um, and then uh, yeah we looked at some cars that are completely out of my price range for probably the foreseeable future and then um, yeah hanged out at Up Garage kind of a very chill laid back video I think definitely not a mu much happened Consider this a filler episode of what's to come, and trust me, it is worth it. 
it really is worth it. Uh, it's like your favorite anime. They, you know, they tease you for like two two episodes of fillers, and then it's then just the most amazing tournament arc that you've ever seen. That's pretty much what's about to happen with the channel. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless, and uh, I will catch you all in the next video, which is going to be super cool. Daikoku Tatsumi and Shiba Uda PA, as well as um, another one. Uh, I can't remember the name right now, but. Lots of cool JDM kind of PA car park stuff. And then after that one, the fillers are over. Trust me, what, the, the content that you've been watching for the last few weeks is doing a complete 180. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. All right, enough talking. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget JDM giveaway, get your summit stickers. There's only like four days left. Don't miss out on getting an entry for that. It's gonna be awesome. Catch you in the next one, guys. Ciao, matane.